Hello, Oscillator Sync here, and welcome back to our series examining the sound design potential of the wonderful Korg Volker FM. Now, in the last video, I suggested that we'd be getting straight on with talking about operators, what they are, what they do, and how we can use them to mould the sound on the Volker FM. However, when I started to make that video, I realised that we were spending almost all of our time inside the edit menu because that's where all the real deep sound design possibilities are. And it occurred to me that um, th although there are people who are watching these videos who have got a Volker FM and have played around inside the edit menu, similarly there are also people who have got the Volker FM but haven't really explored what's going on uh, under the, the bonnet in the edit menu, and indeed people who don't have a, a Volker FM at all and are just interested in learning a bit more about the FM side of things, and I just realised that maybe it would be a good opportunity just before we get really into the sound design side of things just to take a look at the edit menu, how it's structured, because we're going to be spending a lot of time there, and I don't want people to um, be disadvantaged just because they haven't had a look at the edit menu already. Okay, so um, just real briefly, to get into the edit menu, you hit the usefully uh, labelled edit button. When that's flashing, we're in the edit menu. Uh, when you're in the edit menu, this top panel here shows you three key pieces of information. Okay, so um, working from the left. The first uh, thing that you see here is a number. Now that is the number of the operator that we are currently working with. So the Volker FM, like the DX7, is what's known as a six operator synth. Um, we'll talk about the operators in the next video for real this time. But essentially uh, an operator is uh, a thing within the FM uh, synth engine, which is either something that we hear or something which alters the way that the thing that we hear sounds. Um, there are six of them in the Volker FM. They all have exactly the same parameters that you can alter with them. So the parameters are things like uh, the envelope, how affected they are by the LFO, uh, their loudness, um, how they react to velocity and that sort of thing, that they're, they're tuning and, and so on. And all six of these operators have exactly the same set of parameters. So this first number is the number of the operator that we are currently working with. Uh, to switch between the different operators, we use these two buttons here. Usually these change the octave of the keyboard, but in edit mode, they will switch between the different operators. So at the moment we're looking at uh, one, if we click up, uh, then we're looking at two, three, four, five, six. And then finally, when you go past six, you get to A, which is kind of all, and there are a list of parameters in here which affect all of the synth engine all at once. So things like um, pitch envelope lives in here, uh, the shape and depth of the LFO live in here. Uh, overall transpose and tuning um, lives in the all section as well. But we're mostly concerned um, most of the time with the, the operators. So that's the first bit of information, uh, the number of the operator that we're currently working with, and you use these two buttons to switch between them. The next bit of information here is the name of the parameter that you're currently working with. So uh, the parameter that we're currently on is, is the what's called the on parameter. So this basically turns the operator on or off. But as we cycle through using this black knob here, we see that we've got stuff to do with the envelope generator, e.g. So these are all of our rates and our envelope generator levels. Uh, we've got things to do with scaling, which we'll talk about in a later video. We've got um, how much is affected by the LFO and the velocity. We've got its level and a bunch of other parameters here. So we can switch through all of these parameters by using this uh, little black knob here. Now, um, the names of the parameters are a little bit, um, once you've learned them, they're easy to remember, but at first they're a little bit tricky, but luckily the Volker FM does come with a helpful little parameter list card to help you get started when you're still learning your way around the synth. Very, very useful. Thank you very much, Korg. So second bit of information in the edit menu is the name of the parameter that you're currently working with, and you change that using this little black knob here. The final uh, bit of information uh, on the right-hand side here is the current value of that parameter. So uh, for example, at the moment here, we're on the envelope generator level one. Uh, to change the value of the parameter, we use this slider on the left of the unit here. This is our value slider, and that allows us to change through the different values for that particular parameter. 
different uh, parameters have different ranges on them. So the levels there, for example, have zero to 100, whereas the on is just simply on off at the midpoint. And at the end, we've got things like detune, which only goes between zero and uh, 15, well, zero and 14 rather, 15 discrete um, values. So we're going to be in the edit menu a lot in the upcoming videos. And I just wanted to make sure that everyone was kind of au fait with what uh, was going on as we were navigating through uh, these menus. So hopefully that's just giving you a real quick primer on how the edit menu works so that when we get into the sound design side of things, we're not going to be lost and, and people who haven't got a Volker FM in front of them to play with aren't disadvantaged uh, in that way. So um, next video, as I said in the last video, we are definitely getting on. We're talking about the operators, what the operators are and how we can use them to shape the overall sound, the overall timbre of the Volker FM. Hope you join me then. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, please hit the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss up on the upcoming videos in the series and all the other videos on the channel about synthesis as well. And I will see you again soon, guys. Take care.